Health Report. Sugar, Sugar the bittersweet, bittersweet truth. Sugar is a bittersweet substance. On the whole, it makes life sweeter. But in the UK alone, it is the leading cause of obesity. And with one in 11 deaths linked to obesity, it's time we took sugar seriously. Not many people in today's society actually realise where sugar is lurking in our diet or how to combat the problem. The UK government have proposed a new sugar tax, which by increasing the price of sugary goods by 20%, could save 3.7 million people from being obese. But is this really the best solution? In this day and age, we are advised not to consume large amounts of sugar due to the fact that it poses as a serious threat to our health. The sad fact is that sugary foods are high in calories but contain few other nutrients, despite what it says on the label. People eat them thinking they are being healthy, but in reality they are simply shoveling sugar into their bodies. For example, with fruit smoothies, it appears healthy, but during the juicing process, the sugar within the fruit is released, so it becomes free sugar. When in the body, this is then converted into excess fats. In addition to this, sugar can also cause tooth decay. When the sugar comes into contact with your teeth for a prolonged period of time, it eats away at them. Sugary soft drinks are responsible for killing 184,000 adults each year through type 2 diabetes, heart disease and obesity. These people could all have been saved had they not consumed such vast amounts of sugar. The government are now on a mission to reduce the UK's sugar intake. The first step being introduce, to introduce a sugar tax. This is an additional sum of money that will be paid on top of the normal price for sugary goods in order to make people reconsider the amount of sugar they are consuming as well as how much they are spending. Experts believe that just an additional 7p on a sweetened drink would generate £1 billion per year for the Government of the United Kingdom. This would save the NHS money which can then go towards paying doctors' wages and providing healthcare to those that need it. Whilst the Government are finalising the tax Celebrities have decided to take matters into their own hands by starting campaigns. For example, Jamie Oliver has set up an online petition for the tax and has had over 150,000 people backing him. Currently in the UK, there are set guidelines as to how much sugar you should consume. Adults and children over 11 can eat up to 7 teaspoons of sugar a day. Just in case you're not aware, a teaspoon of sugar is equivalent to 4.2 grams. Sugar, preserves and confectionery are the highest sugar offenders. A large majority of these products are branded as healthy. For example, Harley's 10 calorie jelly pots. From looking at the label and how many calories it contains, you would have thought it was low in sugar and healthy, right? Wrong. In one pot, there are six teaspoons of sugar, equivalent to the amount in a cream egg and a child's under 11's daily allowance. Not only is food packed full of sugar, but drinks as well. One 380 milliliter bottle of Lucid Original contains 16 teaspoons of sugar. This is due to the fact that most of these drinks essentially are refined sugar combined with water and flavouring. This particular drink is marketed as a sports drink designed to boost energy levels, which is what it does. However, after a substantial period of time, the energy wears off and you begin, begin to feel low. This is known as a sugar crush. Finally, another product which has extremely high sugar content is Haribo 10 plastics. They contain not 6, not 10, but 26 teaspoons of pure sugar, which is nearly four times the daily recommended intake for over 11s. It's appalling. So it's time we take action and combat sugar before the problem gets out of hand, before we're all obese, before we all have diabetes, and before everyone's teeth have rotted away. We think we can't live without it, but the fact is we can. We need to see the truth and tackle it. Say no to sugar. Cut it out of your diet considerably and don't let it get the better of you. Sugar, we're, we're taking, taking you down. down.